Okay guys, so you've left your frame to dry for 24 hours now, so it should be rock hard. Just a quick note, on each of the four corners I've just put a piece of duct tape, just to, as a bit more strength, because the joints, they're not super strong, I mean we haven't used screws or nails or anything like that, because for the purposes it's going to be used for, it doesn't need that, but just to take the wear and tear and moving it around and stuff, the corner joints are a bit weak, so if you just put a piece of duct tape, that should do it. Okay, so the next step is now to cover the, the top of the stage and the sides of the stage. Now, with covering the top, there's just a quick side note. Remember when we were cutting out the pieces, I told you to cut out two additional uh, pieces that were 89 centimeters in length. Well, what those are for is, as you can see here, they are vertical supports, which will be used later on to fix the Titan Tron and the overhead Tron into position. So when we're covering the stage, we're going to be essentially putting pieces on it like this. Now it's it's made so that it's four pieces of A3 in size, but obviously once these are in position, you're going to need to cut a segment out. So all you're going to need to do is on the piece of card. If you measure 23 centimetres from the bottom up to there and then just measure about 2.2, 2.3 centimetres up and 4.2 out, just wide enough so that when you've cut out that slit it will go around that pole and you'll see later when I've done it. And so that's the next stage. Now, as you can see, I've got one of these vertical posts on. Just going to attach the second one on now because the, the reason I'm showing you these now is because you need to have put these on before you put the covering on the stage because otherwise you won't be able to fix them in. So basically what you're going to need is to mark out some screw holes. Now these are set back 23 centimetres from the edge of the stage, these uh, holes here, the edge. And uh, so you're just going to want to measure that, but although you can put it wherever you want, really, it's not specific. So you're going to want to measure that out, drill your holes, and then just get some screws. And so we're just going to screw them in now. So my advice would be to, first of all, put the screws in the actual frame piece. And just screw it through until the tip of the screw comes through the other side. This will help you a lot. And take the piece, line it up. Apply a bit of pressure. And then just tighten the screws. Like so. There we have it, the second piece is in. So now I'm just going to cover the stage. Right, guys, so as I was saying before, covering the stage, four pieces of A3, you've now cut out your slits for the vertical supports. That's how they slot into place as I was saying. So now it's just a simple case of attaching these four pieces of card together. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to actually take them off the stage. these two pieces first and you're just going to use to begin with minimal tape let's check that nice and lined up at the top on the bottom 
one somewhere in the middle. Okay, so that's those two bits. Now, bear in mind that when you flip these over, they're going to be on the other side. So, this one that's on the left hand side, flip that over, that's going to be on the right hand side. So once again, line it up carefully. Screw it in place with a couple of pieces of tape. One in the middle as well. And the final piece. Just like that. Okay guys, so that's all taped. And now, the case for putting it back on. Okay guys, so once you've got your big sheet, it's now time to glue it onto the frame. So once again, back to the old PVA. And you're just gonna brush the top surface of the frame all the way around. Okay, so once you put glue on the entirety of the surface, you're going to want to now make sure that it's lined up when we do this. Watch on this pole. Something's in the way somewhere. Okay guys, so done that, so now it's just a simple case of repeating it for the other side and then it'll all be stuck down. Okay guys, so once you've glued that, the other side and everything, just leave it to dry for about an hour and it should be good to proceed. So we've now covered the top of the stage, it's time to cover the front and the sides. So all we're going to need for this guys is three pieces of card, well four actually, but one of them is made of two parts. So on one whole piece of A3 card, you're going to want to measure two pieces, the length of the A3 and 12 centimetres wide. So that's that one and that one. And then you're going to want to measure two pieces that are 23 centimetres long by 12 centimetres. Right guys, okay, so you've got all your pieces out now, so it's just a case of fixing them on. So we're going to start with the front first. Just going to be using sellotape for this. I'm going to start in the corners, just place at the top. Okay, so now I've done the front, just apply the same principle to the sides.
Okay, so that's it now. That is the stage complete until we end up decorating it later on, as the case with the side panels. So, thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, just put them in the uh, comments and I'll try and get back to you. Stay tuned for the next part.